How long does it take to make a bow? Well, it depends on, on what style and what wood. Perhaps the, the toughest, of course, is working with the Osage. Uh, a, uh, a simple flat bow can probably be made in a day's time uh, and then just put a simple finish on it. Uh, I have a two-day class and it takes about two full days to make a bow, finish the bow, and, uh, and make a few arrows. And at the same time, the, the students make their own bowstring. So um, uh, taking your time, you can, you can get there, but it's, it's always good to either look at YouTube or find somebody that's built them to show you the tillering process because tillering is the removal of the belly wood, which allows the actual bending and it will give you the poundage and the draw length that you're looking for. You have to find the, the draw length of an in individual if you're gonna fit the bow to the individual. And then once you find the draw length and, and, and the poundage that they want, then you have to find the arrow that will actually meet that particular uh, poundage. Uh, each arrow that I make is spined. So this is for something, uh, for a bow, close to 45 to 50 pounds. Uh, and then th this is uh, kind of a facsimile of an English war arrow. They would actually tie their, their fletching on with silk and with the more powerful uh, uh, bows and arrows, they, they would have to put, actually put a, a spine of horn in here to keep this from splitting out because the bows are so strong. But these are the types that we shoot here. So different size arrows, different uh, diameter arrows, different uh, weights on the points, depending on how strong your, your bow is. And um, then the arm guard usually goes on the hand that holds the bow to protect, protect your arm from getting hit by the string. And then uh, there's a, a little finger tab that is used to protect your, your fingers when you're drawing the, uh, the string. And uh, that's about it, I think.